very, very much. Hello, please sit down. I am Major Motoko Kusanaki and the field leader for the Public Security Section 9. Normally we are quite hush-hush about this sort of thing, so I'm going to need you to sign something that will allow us to remove the memories of what happened today. I'm very sorry for what happened to you. Yes, I've been briefed somewhat, although you're going to have to go over it again. We have various different devices recording this session, and they will be taking into account everything that you say. Now, Batu mentioned that you had a cyber attack done today. Could you tell me a little bit about what happened? Okay, what time? Okay. Yes, and what street was that on? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What were you doing in that area? Okay. Do you often go there? And how often would you say that you go there? Is it always for the same purpose? Mm-hmm. Now, have you received any threats lately for this incident? Anything that might make you suspect that you were in danger? Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes, so what I've come to understand that an individual made a cyber attack on your neuro cyber brain. Is this true? Mm-hmm. Can you describe the symptoms that you're feeling? Okay. Memory loss. Loss of information. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, these things can happen. The more you augment yourself, your brain, and you open yourself up for more opportunities for someone to do terrible things. And that is why I'm here. To try to make sure that these bad people don't get away with it. After our session today, I will send you off. You will speak to a doctor. They'll see what they can do about your situation, see if they can help you. They will remove what you know about today. You will have zero recollection of what you've been through, both the attack and our discussion. And that is very important. If you do not agree with that today, I suggest you leave now. Although, I would appreciate it if you would work with me. Perfect. Okay. Yes, if you could just tap the screen to your left there. Yes, that is you agreeing to the procedure today. Great. So, this individual that came up to you, did they get within touching range? Was it from a distance? Okay. Have you seen them anywhere before? You think so? Could you describe this person for me, please? Do they have any visible augments? Yes, well, what I am concerned about here is that it might be an individual called the Puppet Master. We have been trying to find them for quite some time now without much luck. So far, what you are describing does sound like them. Might not be. There are other people who do similar things. But it's been happening a lot lately and around the same areas. The very similar style. Mm -hmm. Well, if it is the puppet master, you should consider yourself lucky that it was not worse. Yes. 
Okay. What were they wearing? Mm. And what color would you say that is? Darker, lighter? Okay. Do you remember what shoes they were wearing? Mm. Do you know if they had military grade hardware? It is something like what I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Do they interact with anybody for coming up to you? Mm hmm. All right. And exactly how long did this interaction take place? Fairly quick. Someone talented. Someone like the weapon master. I see. So, did this individual say anything to you? Yes, I understand that you're finding it hard to remember exactly. It can be a very traumatic experience, I'm sure. Could you try to think? See if you can remember anything, anything at all. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, take your time. Interesting thing to say. All right. Okay. Did you say anything to them? Did you say anything that might give away where you live? Chances are they probably already know just from what they got from you, but there is a chance that they might not. I will probably send a group of people to watch you for a while. So you might be in danger. I'm not sure. Okay. And again, could you describe what you're feeling right now? Mm -hmm. If you don't mind, I'm just going to take a little look at your hardware. Definitely going to want to see a doctor. I can see some damage done. Mm -hmm. Bit of an overload. Okay. Could you please, um, let me know what exactly you've had done? I see that you have been equipped with the typical neuro-cyber brain. Yes, but that's hardly unusual, is it? You clearly have something more. Yes, if you don't mind just listing out everything that you've had done, it's quite important to catalogue it all. They're listening. Nice and clear, please. Okay. And again, do you mind telling me, is there anything else that you were doing in that area? It just seems like he's come quite a long ways.
Mm -hmm. Alright, fair enough. I don't think that you're lying. It's no indicator of that. Just asking. Okay. So, in a short while, Bantu will be coming in and he will be explaining some things for you. He will get the car ready for you and send you on your way to the doctor. I will also be passing it off to Chief Adamaki. Yes, he's also in charge of this case. It's very important. Mm -hmm. You will be briefly seeing him. I'm sure he'll have some questions of his own with a case like this. So, I would like to thank you for your participation and for helping us today. Again, I'm just going to take another look at you. going to test your hearing quickly. That can also be something that is affected during a cyber attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to come over here. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Would you please let me know what percentage of the hearing is intact? 95%. Great. On to the side. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <clears throat> Again, could you please let me know what percentage of the hearing is intact? 11%. Hmm. Concerning. I'm gonna let the doctor know. The hearing has been affected. I'm going to look at your eyes. Follow my fingers. Okay. Okay. Vision seems fine. Okay. Could you please lift up your left hand? Mm hmm. Lower it. And your right hand. Lower it. Could you put both your arms out? and to make small counterclockwise motions. Excellent. No clockwise. Mm -hmm. Place both hands behind your back and lift your left leg. Now hop to the right. Yes, the right leg. Excellent. Can you touch your toes? Now put both hands on top of your head. Excellent. Okay. 
Well, that seems all in order. It seems like it was mainly your memory that has been affected. Can you let me know how far back you can remember? Hmm. So what do you think that's maybe about three or four years worth of missing memory? From the ages of... From the ages of 75 to 79? Okay. Four years. What were you doing during that time? Is there a company you were working for? Who were your employers? Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how long did you work for them for? Your position? We'd have to look into that company. Could be a specific attack towards them. Okay. Do you remember anything from your time there? Or are those four years completely missing? Okay. Yes, but you do remember your time there from before your promotion. Could you let me know your boss's name? Okay. Excellent. You've been very helpful. Okay, Bantu will be with you shortly. Have a nice day. <laughs>